what we're looking at here is the FiberTech biceps anchor. And what you'll notice are a couple of changes from the initial FiberTech. One is its working length is more appropriate for open procedures, but still could be used arthroscopically. It essentially has a sheath that uh, will interface with the cortical bone and the near cortex. It's a very small 1.9 millimeter drill bit. It's 1.9 from the beginning to the end. Uh, so the opposite cortex, for example, in the proximal humerus is irrelevant. You just got to get through the first cortex. The suture tapes have swedged on needles for convenience. And the overall length of the tape is much shorter to improve its flexibility and handling properties. Because we're advocating doing this in a single step, we now have a slotted guide that we will drill through, insert the anchor, and extract the guide, and then be able to work with the sutures that have needles swedged on. So for a subpectoral biceps tenodesis, ultimately we want to still be above the latissimus, but some of your landmarks are the axillary crease, the anterior border of the deltoid comes across here, the pec comes across here, and you can make this incision very cosmetic um, so that it's more towards the inner side of the arm and you would only see it in high degrees of external rotation. Um, so it's, it doesn't require a very long incision. Um, in line with the biceps. So you know that we're going to have to be sort of under the pack, under the intermedial board of the deltoid to get access to the biceps tendon as it runs longitudinally up the arm. So a lot of this dissection can be done bluntly, just spreading gently. You'll come down on the biceps, short head and long head, and you get this confluence of the pec and the deltoid. And if you just pop through laterally, you can use your finger for blunt dissection, and that will allow you to get a pointed home and lateral to the biceps around the humerus. We have one retractor underneath the deltoid where at the confluence of the pec, which is coming across underneath the deltoid here, you know that if the pec insertion is here and you're medial to it, that just along the length of the humerus will be the biceps. Immediately, we take great care with a pointed or a blunt retractor along the humerus just to hold things just above the latissimus out of the way, always keeping it perpendicular. And then we can just take a curved snap to retrieve the biceps from distal to proximal where it's been tenotomized. Just place a snap on the tendon. So typically, we would prepare the proximal humerus of soft tissue and a footprint maybe one by two centimeters. Oftentimes what I'll do is I'll fish scale the humerus just to create some bleeding. You can also use your arthroscopic bone cutter open with irrigation just to denude the surface for preparation. Basically trying to create a biologic landing strip for, for healing. Another option for humeral preparation, what we designed is a serrated tip on the guide. It, it'll, it'll act to hold the guide onto the bony surface, but you could actually use it Instead of opening up a set of osteotomes, you can use it to prepare the proximal humerus. And then at the upper end of the prepared area, we drill the hole. So it's a slotted drill guide. Anchors inserted. Easily impacted. Then the needle casing is removed from the proximal end of the handle. With all, it has all four needles neatly packaged. And then the anchor is, the inserter is removed. These sutures are removed from the slotted guide and the guide is removed. And the anchor is in position and um, tugged to verify that the anchor is holding. So we have two suture tapes of different colors, which makes it very easy to manage. We remove the plastic covering of the sutures. We'll do some type of modified Kessler, or Krakow, or Mason Allen suture on the tendon. You know, several passes through the tendon. In this case, I'll typically, it's a very small tendon, so we'll work with one limb through the tendon. So really, you can think of the post limb as the limb that's not passed through the tendon. And we'll snap that and keep that out of the way. Grab the other limb. Again, these will slide through the base of the anchor, so it's a sliding stitch. We then hold the biceps proximally. I pull the one limb and that'll actually juxtapose the, the tendon to the bone and then just tie accordingly. And always remember to at some point reverse your post so you get better internal friction and locking of the knot. So I pull the post limb, which is the limb that's not going through the tissue. That pulls the, the tendon to the bone and then we suture it down. 
And I always leave a little bit of a stump of tendon when I'm done. And that's it. That's an open sub-pec tenodesis using the FiberTech biceps anchor.